Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing 12 real time cross example solves and then breaking down my solutions to all of them. So let's get right into this. So the goal of this video is to show you what I would think of as soon as I start inspecting the cube on an official solve where we get 15 seconds of inspection. I'm going to try and find the most optimal cross solution in the fewest number of well, seconds and the most op optimal solution is of course the one with the fewest moves most of the time. So the way this video will work is I'll have a cube cover which is yes in this case the 6x6 six six box over it and then I'll pull the cube cover off and within 15 seconds I'm going to try and find the most optimal solution. Ideally I want to do this within 10 or even 8 seconds as you get faster and faster you want to find the, mo the most optimal solution as quickly as you can to then see further into your solve. So there's going to be 12 scrambles and of course all the scrambles will be here on screen as well as in the description so please do follow along um, with each walkthrough that I do that I give you okay so I'm gonna start with the first okay I'm thinking L R F R 2 D L D prime so with that the cross is done and now let's get into the breakdown of it so here's the scramble and the way I solved the scramble was Initially, of course, I saw the very clear green and blue edges um, along with the red edge here and the orange edge here, both of which are unoriented, but green and blue are oriented from this angle. So I thought if I did an LR prime to solve green and blue, that's great, but it puts red with orange, which would be great if blue was with green and green was with blue, but that's not the case here. So I used piece dynamics to influence the red piece while solving the green piece. So I did an L and then I did R, F to solve the red and the green is still oriented and the F ended up orienting the orange. So when I do R2, the orange can very easily be inserted there with a D, L, D prime. So that's how I did that. That was just a seven move solution and it took me 1.34 seconds. Of course, that's including the timer stop. So more like 1.2 ish, I would guess. So yeah, that's my first solution. And this is how this video is going to be. And trust me, this is how you want to train yourself to do better and better crosses because the speed at which I was able to see uh, the, the most, that was the most optimal solution, seven moves. The speed at which I was able to see that is not that, it's not that fast, you know, like compared to the top solvers, but still a pretty good speed and you'll build up to that slowly. Okay, now on to the next scramble. Okay, I'm gonna inspect this. Okay, D, U, L, F prime, D prime, U prime, R2. Okay, 138. Uh, also, I think I said D in the start, I meant D prime, but uh, yeah, that was also a seven move solution and um, that may not have been the most optimal actually. So let's now break it down. Okay, so for this uh, scramble, I saw the cross pieces here, 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 and here. And I know blue is with green here, which is kind of nice. So one way I could have done this is solved orange with red with an F and then solved the green with the blue like that and then moved on to the red. But instead of that, what I chose to do was uh, maybe not as efficient. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's still seven moves. So I guess it didn't make much of a difference. But what I did was I saw this green here and the orange here. And I know orange belongs to this side of green to the right. So what I did was um, I got the blue opposite to the green first with the D prime. And then inserted the green while orienting the orange so I could insert it. And then this, all these were solved and I knew red would end up on top here. So I can very easily just align the cross, align red with its center and solve it. So that's what went through my head there. And I believe that was also a seven move solution. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the second scramble. I hope it was useful in knowing how I'm looking at pieces and what patterns I'm looking for. If I see a piece solved, but not really solved, like not in the same center, um, then I will tend to solve its opposite color, just opposite to it, wherever it is, wherever it's easier and I can influence more pieces. Notice how I influenced every single one of the cross pieces on that solution. Okay. Um, R prime D L2 F D prime R prime D. Okay. That's done. 153 and the cross is solved. Um, so let's break down what I saw there. This one was slightly more interesting. So in this scramble, I saw that the green was already in the cross layer and I saw blue was aligned with its center. Red is here and orange is here. So 
um the first thing i could have done is solve green next to so, sorry solve orange next to green which would have oriented the red edge which would have been nice so f r prime f prime to solve that and then d f2 l2 which i think is the most optimal solution which i clearly didn't find in real time what i did find instead was a 7 mover instead of a 6 mover that i thought was more more optimal because i started with an r d f combination so i did r prime d and then l2 to solve that and then f but instead of that what i could have done is f r prime f prime to solve the orange next to the green align that cross and then just f2 l2 so f r prime f prime d f2 l2 that's it six moves so that's how easy that cross solution really is and in fact you can reverse it just by remembering the solution so it's f r prime f prime d f2 l2 so this is the cross um just by reversing those moves so yeah this is what i should have done here and i hope you understand how i'm looking at this i'm looking at these patterns where blue is aligning here so i don't really want to disturb it and um what i did instead of that was get the red in and then solve the green because i saw that this slot was empty so i thought i would use that but instead you can just solve the orange to the right of green align it and now red and blue are just ready to go in that's it Oh, this is a tricky one. Uh, D prime, U prime, L two, R prime, F D prime. Okay, one thirty seven. Um, so this one was I I like the solution more than all the previous ones so far. So let's break this down. Okay, so here I saw green opposite to blue, which is fine. I saw red being one more away from being solved, which was the key to this entire cross. So I noticed red needed to go here if green was here, and blue would go next to red. Right, blue blue belongs here if red is on the right. So, after noticing all that, I also observed that moving the blue here to then insert it here would move the orange here, and that's where it belongs with respect to blue. So, in order to solve red, blue, and orange, all I would have to do is U prime, R prime, F to solve red and blue, and then L two to solve orange. But the green is here, and I want it here. So that was the solution. I just fixed green. So D prime, U prime, R prime, F, L two, D prime. and that's it that's the entire cross six move cross um i think that's the most efficient and yeah that one was i think a little more easy to catch because a lot of the patterns were pretty obvious red and blue and orange were all right here in one face and green was at the back or like it was here so yeah okay on to the next one L F prime D prime R prime U two F R prime D two. Okay, so there was an eight move cross, and uh, that was maybe one of the hardest crosses we've seen so far. I think eight moves is the optimal for that cross because it was just so bad. So let's break it down. So on this cross, I saw that nothing was in the cross layer, and I saw orange and blue right here, which is just two moves away from being solved with respect to each other, because orange would go here, and then blue would belong to the right of orange. So that's one of the patterns I'm looking for an oriented and unoriented edge as I explained in the uh, previous video to this. And then um the next thing I see is red and green and if these two positions were flipped that would be so good because I could just have done B L prime R prime F R prime D six move cross but these two are not flipped they're right here and here. So after doing the L F prime I would have to get red here to put it here and then green should go here and then a D would solve all of that. So instead what I decided to do was use the opposite color matching for red and orange. So I did L F prime to solve orange and blue as planned. I aligned blue with green and then did R prime to get red here. Did the U2 to get green there while I insert the red to orient green with blue and inserted it and D2. So eight move cross not that great but I think that was the most optimal solution for that scramble. Do let me know if you find a better one for white and yeah let's go to the next one. L prime F D L R R, right? L prime F D L R. Okay, so that's the cross done. That was a sub one cross, which is okay. It's not impressive. I'm just saying it was sub one. So that cross was really easy. It was just a five move cross, and it didn't look that easy from you know from the get go. So let's break it down. So on this cross, I saw red here. I saw orange here. That's an immediate clue to solve them opposite to each other with one move, just an R prime. 
and I saw blue here, which is already ready to go. So R prime D L would solve three of the cross pieces, right? Because R prime and then D would solve red and then L would solve blue. So what I realized is instead of doing that, I can influence green as well, because remember, never influence just one cross piece at a time. It's one of the tips. So what I did here instead is after I, I held it from this angle instead, because I know that blue can just be solved with an R here, orange with an L prime. So everything's going into the back so I can watch this edge. So here I did L prime and then I did an F here to align the green because now once I do the L prime, nothing's solved here. I just want the green to be paired with its center. And then I align, since green is ready to go, blue is ready to go. I just align the rest of the cross, get green and get blue and that's it. It's that simple. That was just a simple five mover, nothing fancy there. And that's one of the examples of where you need to stay composed when you see a bunch of cross pieces all over the place because sometimes it could be the easiest solution you're looking at. So stay tuned for part two where I go over the other six solves. <laughs>